and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a video all on my favorite foundations for the summertime and my kind of go-to's. Now most of these are kind of year-round that I use throughout the year, but they specifically are my favorite ones in the summertime that I use for certain reasons. Um, you guys know that I mainly like to stay dewy for the most part and kind of luminous and glowy and I feel like that look is especially beautiful on tan skin whenever you have some color um, in the summertime so I know that I get pretty dark right now I actually have some pretty intense tan lines if you guys have been watching my snapchats I showed you guys my awful burn that I got on my stomach and on my back because I was at the lake two days ago um, but yeah I think that nice dewy luminous uh, foundation looks really good on tan skin so these are kind of my favorite ones that I go to in the summertime for different reasons I have a few different options so let's just jump right in don't forget to like this video if you like favorite videos like that I just talk about specific products and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos and also follow me on snapchat and Instagram because you know what's up my number one favorite foundation whenever you guys ask me to do this video I was like well obviously I'm gonna be putting this one in because it's like my favorite foundation year-round but especially in the summer and it's the Giorgio Armani luminous silk foundation I know you guys have probably heard about this a million times and maybe you've kind of dodged it because it is pretty pricey I love this foundation when I got this I got it in the summertime maybe a year ago or maybe two years ago I can't remember probably two years ago and I got the shade 6 which is actually really really dark and I only really wear this when I am really tan um, or I've just self tanned so I decided to get a lighter color that would be good that I can mix it uh, mix in with it or I can wear it by itself if I'm a little more on the fair side and I have the other shade I have is 3.5 so I think I'm gonna get another shade that's darker because I'm almost out of my six and I'm actually wearing this one right now and I just put on this one because I'm pretty dark right now so um, so yeah I absolutely love it it looks so good and this is more of a lighter medium foundation kind of buildable um, I'd say but it's on the lighter side very silky definitely you know luminous silk foundation is like the perfect name for this um, at first I was a little shocked by this foundation like I was like oh it doesn't really have that great of coverage but at the end of the day I feel like it just looks so luminous and so beautiful um, so yeah I love this one it's like definitely one of my favorites especially in the summer and I only really wear it when I'm tan because I feel like it doesn't really get that full benefit if I'm on the fair side um, if I'm on the fair side I usually do matte because I feel like you can see more imperfections in the skin when you have light I don't know that's just me though I feel like that's like what happens to me maybe it's not for everyone maybe it's not the way it works for everyone but I love that one and it's great if you guys haven't tried it out yet and you guys like that luminous look I would definitely invest in it and like wear it because it is so good I love it I feel like my makeup looks good every time I wear it next foundation that I love and wear pretty much just during the summer is the NARS velvet matte skin tint I heard about this one through Desi Perkins as you guys probably know and I got the shade, um, it's actually a little too, like, has like some orange in there or something. I got the sh shade St. Moritz, St. Moritz, I don't know how you say it, it's medium one. Um, but this is what it looks like right there. It's kind of like a moussey, um, it's, it's sort of a more fuller coverage skin tint, or what do you even call that? Tint and moisturizer. So I feel like Desi was wearing this like every single day, so I decided to get it because, um, I don't know, I just like... I don't know I love Desi and I was like okay if she loves it then I'm gonna get it and um, I really do like this I like this more so on days that like I'm gonna be out all day long but I'm like running errands and I want like something to give me a little bit of coverage then I will wear this one um, I will not wear this like on a night out or like to dinner or something like that like it's not full coverage enough it's very like sheer like a sheer light maybe buildable to medium coverage but it's a very very light coverage so I really do like this one a lot I would say that I and it also has SPF 30 sunscreen in it so this is also another thing that like if I wanted to look cute at the pool or something which normally I don't normally when I go to the pool I don't wear any makeup at all and I just like go like I am I'm like okay whatever I'm gonna be laying out I don't want to have anything on my face but if it's like something more social or whatever then I would put this on because it has sunscreen in it and it's it's really good if I do go to the pool literally that would be all I put on I don't like to do like mascara and stuff because it's like gonna come off but anyways that one's really good too. pretty much only wear that during the summer 
Next up, I have the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick, Stick Foundation. Um, I really, so at first, I did not like this foundation. Everyone talked about it, and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get it, let's just do it, because so many people were loving it, like Jacqueline was loving it. Um, I don't know, I just saw so many people use it. I saw, saw I love Sarahi use it, and so I tried it out, and you guys can see right there, I'm in the shade uh, 118 equals Y325. So I think I'm gonna get another stick foundation in a darker color because I really do love this and I feel like it really does give that dewy look. And if I am kind of in a rush, this is my go-to foundation because it takes so fast, like it takes no time at all, like I'm rushing um, to get my makeup done if I use this just because it's so easy. Like I do a few swipes and blend in with a beauty blender and I'm good to go. And it's actually pretty full coverage. Like I'd say it's a medium to full coverage, like you don't feel like it's that heavy on your face, but like it's pretty full coverage and it's beautiful and I love the finish that it gives my skin. It is kind of more of a dewy finish. You can kind of see like right here. It's kind of like a, I don't know, like it has some yellow olive, almost like an olivey undertone compared to the other one because the other one looks so orange. So I don't absolutely love the shade I got in the NARS, but this one I'm definitely gonna get a darker shade for whenever I'm more tan because I really do love this formula. At first I was like, it has this fishy smell, and honestly, it still kind of has that fishy smell. I thought it went away, but it, it's still there. I'm not sure why. That kind of freaks me out, but I still use it anyways. Hopefully, the next one I get doesn't have that smell. But um, but yeah, I really like that one. Let me know y'all's thoughts on this foundation if you've tried it, because I'm just interested to see what other people think about it. Um, next thing I have is the L'Oreal uh, Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. This, as you guys know, is one of my favorite foundations of all time throughout the whole entire year. I absolutely love it, but I particularly love it like in the summer when there's more sun out because it has SPF 15 in it, and that's just awesome to me whenever uh, foundations have SPF in it because I'm kind of paying more attention to that now as I get older. Um, just to protect my skin more. Um, it says radium finish, normal dry skin, hydrating. It's also hydrating, so that's great in the summertime as well. Um, up to 24 hours, so the fact that it's like long wearing and it's a good coverage, it has that glow. I absolutely love this one. I actually need to get another one because I'm like all out. Um, this is, I wear the shade 205 Natural Beige. Do you remember to shake this one because if you don't, like there'll be like little white specks and it's because of the SPF. So it's really, really light feeling, kind of silky, sort of like that Giorgio Armani. Um, it's really, really pretty. I probably should get a darker one in that one too because I'm so dark right now and I feel like I'm just gonna keep laying out and get darker, so. But yeah, that, that one right there um, is really, really pretty. I love the Pro Glow. If you have not tried it and you like a dewy finish, definitely try it out because it is so pretty. It's definitely like my favorite foundation, hands down, probably that I have, at least from the drugstore, 100%. I do love the Armani, but the Pro Glow is still gorgeous. I'm gonna definitely get a, a darker color in this. And I heard that they have uh, concealers out too, so I'm gonna actually look for that at the drugstore and probably go to the drugstore tonight after work um, and see what I can find. Next thing, actually this is the last foundation that I have for the summertime, and this is the Fiona Styles Luminous Finish Foundation. So I have the shade 04 and I also have 05 and I mix them both together, but Fiona Styles is honestly like one of my favorite foundations ever. Like the foundation is just such a high quality and it's so good and I know that they sell it at Ulta, but I'm pretty sure it's on sale at Ulta. Like my sister sent me a picture of it on sale for like $7 and it's normally $30. So I'm not sure what the deal is. Maybe people just don't know about it and aren't buying it, but it's a really good product it's a really good that's it right there it kind of reminds me of the pro glow in a way like it just has that luminous finish but it's a little bit more full coverage in the pro glow i would say a lot of times i like to mix this with the matte one with the matte fiona styles foundation just because matte i feel like usually gives me a little bit more coverage but i still get that dewiness and it's kind of like the best of both worlds and then last but not least i did want to show you guys something that is also a lot of fun to do with your foundation in the summertime um and this is the becca shimmering skin perfector liquid um so i like to sometimes mix in highlighters with my foundation if I want to be like doing the most shimmery glowy beautiful goddess from within whatever or glow from within sort of a thing so this is what is a champagne pop I have champagne pop I think I have opal and like the cover effects drops those are also awesome but it kind of gives you that if you just want to mix this in your foundation it gives you that like glow that beautiful beautiful glow I would say only do it if your skin is pretty clear because it's just going to emphasize texture probably if you have like breakouts and stuff like that 
but if I'm having a really good skin day then I'll mix this in um, my foundation just because it gives you that like glow and I absolutely love doing that it's a lot of fun I'm gonna actually show you guys luminous silk too because I didn't actually put that one on my hand don't really have a lot of space left if I even have my number six is like gone I'm really sad about it so luminous silk I'll put on my hand right here it's super super light like very watery I don't know if you guys can see it but it's right there um, it's really really nice it's very similar to the uh, to the Fiona styles and the pro glow really honestly like all these foundations are very similar I'd say the NARS one is definitely the most different out of all of them it's like a little bit more velvet thick um, but still light coverage at the same time. So yeah, the HD stick and the velvet one are a little bit different than all the others. But but yeah, you can see like all the colors are very different. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love all of these foundations for the summertime. I think you guys will love them if you definitely like a more glowy, dewy look. You'll like these foundations. Um, these are the ones that stuck out to me in my collection. These are um, awesome, awesome foundations. So anyways, that wraps up this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed and let me know if you guys have tried any of this, these foundations and if so, what is your favorite out of the ones that I have or what is your favorite? Maybe I didn't mention it, maybe I haven't tried it. Let me know what your favorite foundation for the summertime is. I hope that y'all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. As always, let me know what you wanna see next. I think I'm gonna be doing a beauty haul uh, probably next. Uh, collective like skincare hair care makeup sort of a collective sort of haul if you guys want to see that let me know yeah don't forget to like this video subscribe and I'll see you in my next video I love you guys so much bye